it up. I think my team, the way in which they're showing up and the way in which they talk um, and the way in which they, they're, there's just a, a willingness to do whatever it takes to, to take care of kids um, and to, to, to provide meals. They're showing up the same way to what I did during World War One. Sure, the first thing you think about too is, is someone's health. So you're thinking about uh, your employees staying safe, right? You want to provide a service to your community, but at the same time, you don't want to put your employees in danger. Um, you know, the worst thing that could happen for us, and, and it's inevitable to a certain extent that so many of these businesses like grocery stores and like hospitals, um, first, first line workers are doing what they have to do to support our communities, uh, but knowing that they're putting themselves at risk. So that was a challenge for us. We realized in the beginning, we had to come up with the right ratios, the right procedures, um, working alongside the CDC to know that when we bring children into our centers, how are we administering a program that is both engaging, but also safe? In a lot of cases, we would take the standards that different uh, child care centers were using across the country. And our commitment was to always go above and beyond those recommendations. And so um, we, we would, from the beginning, we kind of took a most conservative, aggressive approach to um, ensuring safety and ensuring high protocol. And then as the program continued to develop, we would learn what we were being successful at and what we weren't being successful at. And so just having a commitment, we have a call every day at three o'clock with our all of our site leaders to evaluate what's working, what's not working, and then how do we come up with a new strategy um, when we were seeing challenge. Many hours on the phone, these Zoom calls that we've all become really used to, um, talking about enriching ways um, to take care of children during the day, but keeping the ratios really small and ensuring families when they drop off their children that their children will remain safe. So we've um, realized that you, you you need to be vigilant. So a lot of hand washing all day, um, taking temperatures when children arrive immediately um, and determining if their temperature is above 100 or at 100 that they need to go home and, and not stay that day. Um, taking temperatures of our staff members and not just once, but when they come to work um, at the middle of their shift um, to monitor their health and safety as well. Our, our ability to really pivot and be flexible became our greatest strength throughout this, this crisis. And so, you know, giving you examples, we, we were working today on um, what our, our adjusted policy is for how we respond if somebody at a site tests positive for COVID. It, it's completely different than what it was four and five weeks ago, because there's different, there's a different knowledge base that we have now that we didn't have four weeks ago. And so just that willingness to, to be flexible um, became something that we had to learn really quickly. And, and to be honest, we made, we made mistakes in the beginning of making decisions too quickly or, or, or responding in a, in an inaccurate way. And that helped us to, to figure out as we go through this crisis, what's the right things to do. I think my team, the way in which they're showing up and the way in which they talk um, and the way in which they, they're, they're just a so willingness to do whatever it takes to, to take care of kids um, and to, to, to provide meals. They're showing up the same way to what I did during World War One. They're, they're, they're on the front line making sure we're doing everything we can. And it's it's just inspiring. It's just inspiring that the other day we started, we made a policy change of requiring all our staff to wear masks. And to hear staff members clocking off of their shift, going home at night and sewing handmade masks for us to wear is, is just amazing that, that they're that committed to the work that we're doing. Um, it's hard not to be inspired and not to be proud.